Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, uh, December 2nd, in this first week of Advent. As the days get shorter and our time approaches Christmas and we light our Advent wreath, we are given the gift of more light in darker days as each week we light another candle. So this week we have the first candle of the Advent wreath lit. On my reading this morning from two different places, my Coffee with God and also some devotions by Marva J. Dawn, led me to um, a similar place, a place of recognizing that God's glory is waiting to be shown, and we have been given the incredible gift of sharing that glory with the world. So the first passage I would like to read for you is from uh, Eugene Pat Peterson's The Message, cha Luke chapter 1, verses 35 to 40. 39 to 46, I apologize, my eyes aren't what they should be. Mary didn't waste a minute. She got up and traveled to a town in Judah in the hill country, straight to Zechariah's house, and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby in her womb leaped. She was filled with the Holy Spirit and sang out exuberantly, You're so blessed among women, and the babe in your womb also blessed. And why am I so blessed that the mother of my Lord is, visits me? The moment the sound of your greeting entered my ears, the babe in my womb skipped like a lamb for fear, sheer joy. Blessed woman who believed what God said, believed every word would come true. That is Luke chapter 1 verses 39 to 45 taken from the message by Eugene Peterson. And that sense of Mary carrying forth the glory of God and Elizabeth being blessed to share it as, as John left in her womb makes me think of also the passage from Isaiah chapter 40, verse 5. And this one is taken from the New American Standard Version. Then the glory of the Lord will be revealed and all flesh will see it together for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. And these are some words from Marva J. Dawn's book, to walk and not faint. God especially wants to fulfill this verse through us, that the glory of God will be, the Lord will be revealed. The Apostle Paul highlights this idea in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18, where he declares that as we behold the glory of the Lord, we shall be changed into his likeness from one degree of glory to another. The glory of the Lord shall indeed be revealed in our lives in ways that are observable. God's glory is so multifaceted, an image in 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 10, that it requires all of us individuals to reveal all that God wants to say about himself. Consequently, Christians are to be neither non-entities nor carbon copies of each other, but unique vessels for God's self-revelation. We are each matchlessly created in God's image and have much to reveal to the world around us. And she offers a prayer. Glorious Lord, we desire to be worthy of the honor of being vessels of your self-revelation. Help us live each day in odd awareness of this honor, privilege, and responsibility. Amen. This season of Advent is indeed a season of waiting. We are waiting for the return of Christ in the second coming, but it is also an opportunity for us to participate in this waiting adventure. Adventure. This coming of Christ, this waiting that we are preparing for, or that we are the waiting through which we are preparing for the coming of Christ, is one that we have been invited to participate in specifically. That God has stated that we are made in his image and there's no one like us, and that we are all needed to help to bring about and prepare the world for the coming of Christ. What an incredible gift that is, especially in a time like this, when it feels like hope is lost, when every day we get more bad news. And the truth is that the news that we receive about this world may seem bad, but the good news is that in all of it is grace. God is present through his Son and through the Holy Spirit. And no matter how low things seem to be in the world, we only need to turn to God to recognize that he is indeed bringing light into our life. 
And the darker it gets, the more light he will reveal. And so as you add light your advent rate, your advent candle at home, or as you look to the stars to see the glory of God shining in the night, as you seek to find the ways that God is leading you into hope, always remember that God is looking to you to lead others to hope as well. You are part of God's creation. And as Marva J. Dawn has, says, has said, Consequently, Christians are not are to be neither non-entities nor carbon copies of each other, but unique vessels for God's self-revelation. We are each matchlessly created in God's image and have much to reveal to the world around us. Did you know that the good news is in you, that you are the bearer of the things that Christ is asking us to share with the world? Have a great day, everybody. Remember that you are matchlessly created. There is no one out there like you. And God created you to be exactly who you are. You are made in God's image. You are a revelation of God's love to others this day. So go out and reveal. Share God's love. But remember to do it wearing a mask and staying as far away from people as you can. We will find ways to be God's people, to reveal God's love, even when we can't be side by side and speaking without a, to each other without a mask. Be safe, be hopeful, be joyful, be loving. Take good care of yourself and the ones that you love and the people around you, and we will get through this together. Have a great day, everybody, and God bless.